Member from London, Fanshawe. Questions to the Premier. Families in London have had enough bad news. Over the past year, London has lost 7,200 jobs. Our unemployment rate has climbed above 8 per cent, and the usage of the food bank continues to rise. The London Food Bank announced today that a new approach is needed. They serve almost 3,600 families every month and simply stated they are just stretched to the limit. It's clear to everyone that the status quo approach the Liberals have taken just doesn't work. Speaker, when will the Premier admit that she's failing families in London because her government has no clue how to create jobs in southwestern Ontario? Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry, but I have to disagree fundamentally with the uh, with the member from London, and I think I think in fact the. Uh, what the food bank has actually said is considerably different than how you've characterized it. But what I want to say about the unemployment rate and jobs in London, in fact, the reality is considerably different than what you've represented it as. About a year ago, the unemployment rate was unacceptably high. It was over 9 percent, and it has since come down actually by more than 1 percent since that period of time. We've had very important announcements. Incredible companies like Natra, which is a European chocolate maker that has decided to make London its North American headquarters. The large, single largest export uh, deal in the history of this country has come out of London recently with the thousands of jobs that are going to be protected and new jobs created as a result. So, in fact, the news is quite good for London, Mr. Speaker, and I don't know why the member opposite continues to denigrate the hard work that's going on to help that important part of the province. Recover. Answer. Two supplementary, the member from London West. Thank you, Speaker. Everyone in London except this government seems to know how bad it's gotten. Our unemployment rate has climbed four months in a row. 12,000 people have simply lost hope and dropped out of the workforce altogether since the Premier took office. That's the Liberal government's record. The Premier refuses to admit that her policies aren't working and is forcing families to fall further and further behind. Speaker, how many more jobs need to be lost before the Premier gets the message and provides real help for small businesses to create jobs in London? Member for Prince Edward Hastings, come to order. Minister. Yeah. So the list is long in terms of businesses, including, importantly, food processing uh, facilities that are opening in London and the London area, and it's partly due to the hard work that is being done by those local communities, their local economic development uh, corporations. In fact, I had the opportunity, the honour, just in the last couple of weeks to speak and outline the uh, province's job plan to the Economic Development Corporation and about 150 other business leaders and community leaders and municipal leaders in London just to talk to them and engage them in the progress that they're making. We've got, they've got an important and growing high-tech and digital uh, uh, sector which uh, exists in London as well. Uh, Broza, an important uh, facility as well, just announced in the last few weeks. And I'll just say March of 2013, the unemployment rate in London was 9.6 percent. Well, Today, in fact, it's 8.2 percent. It's still higher than it needs to be, but it shows the progress that's being made just over the past uh, 12 months. And we're moving in the right, right direction. And I wish that member would stop stop talking down London and the hard work that her oh, community is doing to create 